Hello, and welcome back to Donut Like, Donut Read. I am Adam, at your service, and with me today I have Clemens. Hello there. And Julius. Hi. Today, so, before we get to the story, I don't know, were you guys ever, like, on fanfiction.net back in the early 2000s? Was was that, you guys, like, on that during that time or not? <laughs> no. Well, I was the literal, <laughs> I was a literal, literal three-year-old when... This story we're reading today was put out, which is kind of okay. crazy to think about, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's actually, man, you guys make me feel really old because I was a, I was a teen, I was around like, probably would have been like 12 or 13 when this came out. And this is, this was the golden era of golden, of fanfiction.net because this was the time where like the site was mostly full of teenagers writing these like, in this, like, really interesting format, which doesn't age well, but it is just wonderful to go back and read. Like, this is the kind of story <laughs> I would have read, unironically, when I was 12 or 13 years old. So, and the story today is called Flying Lessons by Miss Hermione G. Malfoy. G-Malfoy. Is G- her middle name? No, I figured she hyphenated, like, Granger Malfoy. I, oh. I guess I'm assuming that's what it means, but yeah, no, that makes maybe they sense. have a cap on the. I don't. They didn't used to have a cap on how long you can make your username on this site, or it was it was really long. I don't know if this was altered because of that. So, Hermione is tired of being a bookworm and wants a change, and Fred has a mind reading power. Does he? <laughs> I guess he does. <laughs> Hermione signs Hermione signs up for flying lessons. What happens when her teacher is Malfoy? I suck at summaries, <laughs> so one? Blizz R. Yeah. Which Malfoy? You know what? They always called him Malfoy in the books. Like <laughs> fanfic authors mostly all, always call him Draco. I guess they think Draco sounds cooler. But in the books they almost always refer to him as Malfoy. And if um, you guys like this video, please ah this video, whatever that means, but please do it. Yeah, I'm going to say this, though, for any aspiring fan fiction writer out there, never put I suck at summaries in your summary. It is the yeah. biggest turnoff for a reader. Like, if you really suck at summaries, just like take a quote from your story or just do a very basic description. You don't need to tell us that you suck at it. Yeah. Also... Like I'm not sure I I know of, I'm not that big on Harry Potter, but like I know of Hermione Granger. I'm not sure about Hermione signs. I saw that too. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess we'll I find guess out. It's her own character. So let's let's get down into this wonderful wonderful story. <laughs> and the first chapter is called Default Chapter. <laughs> I'm so confused Great. already. Hiya, this is my, not one, not three. Well, I don't know what number thick it is, this is. Exactly. Well, then then but, don't yeah. mention it. I wouldn't <laughs> he, have yeah, it's like cared <laughs> either way. <laughs> yeah, I think this author was just, they were writing this story and they didn't realize they, they had a delete button. They can go back and like edit their thoughts, you know? <laughs> they just, they had like text to speech on and they didn't go back and change anything. <laughs> so we have a line break. And then, Amber, do I own HP people, you may ask? Well, I do actual Hermione. Not. She does not own me, Harry, Juan, or Malfoy. JK. I do. <laughs> Ron. I own the plot. Amber. No, I own the plot. Ron. Fine, I own Pigwidgeon. <laughs> I think it's Pigwidgeon, but yeah. Oh, I don't know Pit if they spelled that right or not. I'm sorry. You're okay, you're good. You're good. Harry. I own Jenny. Hey, <laughs> hey. I mean my broom. <laughs> yes, my broom. Not Jenny. Draco. Yeah. Oh, wait, I was Draco. 
What do I own then? Oh yes, everything. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> Amber. Okay, Draco, you have officially gone mad. Draco. Gone who? Amber. Right then. On with the story! Gone who? <laughs> <laughs> this is something that a lot... I mean, you see this a little bit nowadays, but this was very popular in the old days of fan fiction. Like, the characters are just talking to each other in the author's notes. Yeah, it's, a it's, very... it's painful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially when it's not that funny. Like, this wasn't all that not clever. Not funny and also not not even really in character. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, you don't remember the part of the book where Draco laughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's basically Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> so we finally get to the summary after all that nonsense. At summary... As you know, Hermione can't fly, even if she really wanted to. What happens when she signs up for for lessons and has Draco as her instructor? Funny! (laughs) The sad thing is this would have been a better summary than their I suck at (laughs) summary summary. Yeah. (laughs) Why do we even need a second summary? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Because... They don't even. They could just use this one, and, and it tells us. It says funny, so we know it's funny. Yeah, we know that it's going to be a great yeah, story. I'm glad I now know what emotion to feel. <laughs> if I'm not amused, so. I will sue the author in small claims court over not being funny after promising exactly that. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, sue this 2003 author. <laughs> okay. Hermione was in the Gryffindor common room, sitting in a dark corner by herself. She was watching everyone in the room. From that tiny corner, she had a perfect view of the whole room. I mean, kind of figured if she could see everybody. Yeah. I also, you know, that was very much like Hermione to sit in dark corners. (laughs) She saw Harry, Ron, Seamus, Dean, Fred, George, Oliver, Katie, Alicia, and Angelina. Must be talking about Quidditch. Not spelled right. <laughs> Thought Hermione. Why don't I know anything about Quidditch? Why did I have to choose books <laughs> over fun? <laughs> she makes it sound like she doesn't have control of anything. So... Oh, oh, Fred really does have mind reading powers. <laughs> For no explained reason. <laughs> okay, wait, I, I hope this voice works out. <clears throat> because you're Hermione! <laughs> Yelled Fred over at her. I, I hope I could do Joaquin's voice justice. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did he know what I was thinking? (laughs) Because there is a thing we like to call a mind-reading potion, Hermione. I would have thought you knew (laughs) all about that. (laughs) That would have solved a lot of problems in the books if there were mind-reading potions. (laughs) (laughs) Why would you think that I would... No, uh, all about that. Asked Hermione, a bit offended. Well, not one, not three, because not one, not three, not two, you know everything. Not one, not three, not two, not... Well, <laughs> how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen... Yeah, this is another author thing, like, a lot of authors would, like, just put, they think, you know, the more periods you put, the more space you have between the dialogue, I guess, but it's not really a concrete me- measurement. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing about fun, nonetheless Quidditch, he said while laughing. Hermione had it up to here, the top of her head, with this. 
Thanks for clarifying. She has to change. <laughs> what? What do you say? I'm I'm glad it mentioned uh, how it was meant. With I had it yeah. up to here, I was wondering. Yeah, she's she's trying to like this very, this very like ambiguous concept. She's trying to like put a measurement on it. <laughs> she got up and stormed out of the common room. She had flung the portrait open so hard that she, she almost fell off the hinges. The portrait is of a woman, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But when it says she almost fell off. Yeah. Hermione was now in the Great Hall. She had planned to go to the library, but she thought she, that she, she, she but she thought that would be the obvious place. She was thinking of how thing how she could change to try and fit in. <laughs> she was on her way out of the hall when she stopped in front of the bulletin board. Flying lessons? She read aloud. Hmm, not one, not three. Maybe I can get flying lessons and get my teacher to teach me about Quidditch too. Not one, not three. Hmm, not one, not three. Okay. She said as she sighed. So she signed she her signed name on the list. She signed her name on the list while sighing. Yeah, I'm pretty, that's, that's, the author coined something new here, though. <laughs> when you sigh and sign at the same time, it's just... <laughs> you were just dropped. Yeah. She out her house and year as well. What? <laughs> that's just the nonsense sentence. <laughs> she outed them. That's, I'm that's, out that's of really my, mean, actually. I'm out of my years. That's, that's kind of deep. Aren't we all out of our year? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone thinks they're more mature than they actually are. <laughs> yeah, if you are, if you are to go inside... Back. Uh, I yeah. don't... Way out <laughs> her way house. We are way out way house. <laughs> <laughs> Hermione decided to go back up to the common room, hoping that the events from before were forgotten. What events?! Like Fred said something to her that was can be construed as kind of mean, I guess. Yeah, but like apparently, bit, a bit no weak one else like of an inciting incident. I gotta be honest. <laughs> like one offhand comment from from Fred, and she's like, "I've got to redefine myself completely." I mean, Fred's opinion is all that matters. Yeah. He, he's clearly the most important person in the house. I mean, he got mind reading. Well, he got a mind reading potion. <laughs> yeah. She walked up to the portrait. Oh, my, it's you. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> huh? Asked Hermione, a little confused. Oh, sorry about that ch chocolate truffle. She walked into the brightly decorated room. She looked around and saw a few first and second years. They must have gone to bed. She thought. No, Hermione, we didn't. Said Fred, walking from <laughs> behind Hermione and grabbing her around the waist. From behind. <laughs> oh, I just realized you're doing the Fred Durst impression. I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I guess <laughs> that means I have to keep working on it. it. No, it's fine. It's fine. I like the voice for him. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yo, don't, don't do that. Yo, Sigh, Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more ghetto, yo. <laughs> yeah, I remember when, like that's like one word you never heard Hermione ever say in the books or movies. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Sigh, Hermione, breaking free of his grasp. And you are starting to freak me out with this mind-reading thing. I can't think freely anymore. <laughs> the fart police is gonna come. <laughs> 1984. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
no, it's great, isn't it? Not for me, it's not. She said while walking up to her room. She went into her room and hopped on her bed. She pulled the curtains around her head and sit in the middle. She took out her her journal from under her pillow and began to add another entry. Not one, not three. <laughs> and this is Hermione, so Hermione can read this. Journal. Hey. Today was an other nerve-wracking day. Everyone was talking about Quidditch, and I had no idea what they were going on about. Also, Fred has this w weird power. Now, every time I'm around him, I can't think. Somehow he could hear what I was thinking. Weird. Anyway. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> that explained. Back to the Quidditch thing. Well, I have signed myself up for flying lessons. So this way I will be good at. I have something to do in my spare time. Other than weed. Well, it is getting late, so I will close out. Hermione. I kind of think that the way the author wrote this story is the same way that Hermione writes in her entries. Just everything on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> Also, she is this implying she didn't do anything else that day? That's literally yeah, all she, that happened a whole day, and she all she managed to do was be in the common room, go go down to the blackboard, and like sign her name in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a very um, very un uncharacteristically unproductive day for Hermione Granger. <laughs> she placed it under her pillow and changed into her pajamas. Her pajama pants said were black and had weird <laughs> written all over them in red. Yeah, that's something uh, Hermione oh. would uh, would wear. <laughs> totally. This is, this is like the predecessor to My Immortal. <laughs> yeah, like Hermione I was weird. thinking about that. <laughs> Like, I don't think she, my immortal existed yet. Does she also? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> but you think she also has a good Charlotte shirt or something? Probably. Or like, I mean, this is. Hmm? Man, I'm just thinking. Like this is. Like this is. I'm thinking about this. This is like before my chemical romance even became big. Now that I'm thinking about it. But this was also during the like the early mid two thousands where you know the emo and goth subcultures were really taken off in America. Yeah. So I can kind of see I can see this being flavored from that. Written over them in red, not all over, but in a few places. Oh, thanks for telling me, author. <laughs> Her shirt said, "Never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups." Uh... <laughs> Author's note. <laughs> didn't think something that long would actually fit on a shirt, lol. Yeah, I wish it wouldn't. <laughs> but I'm it. sorry, but No, I'm I was I was about to say something <laughs> I was about to say something I could have regret it. Yeah. I'm just I'm about? just going to say if you own a shirt like that I like it's okay but I just don't really respect you as a person. I can I can see a shirt like that being popular in America, honestly. But it's one of those things where It's like the same again, category authors... like some some shirts that say shit like uh, I don't know, shit like, don't talk to me before I've had my first cup of coffee. <laughs> like, that, that, that's another sh that's another common thing on the shirts and mugs in this country. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, they also exist in Germany, don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know enough about, I've only been to Germany once and it was only for a few days, so I don't know enough about your country, so... She slipped under the blankets and drifted into a dreamless slep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. Asterisk. I was going to stop there, but it seemed too short and not enough of an entrance to the story. 
fast with stuff. <laughs> well, why does this... This is so, actually another thing, you know, authors, if you want to put your author's notes at the beginning of the end of chapters, that's great. Putting him in the middle never looks good. Yeah. Hermione woke up the next morning feeling fully rested. Today is going to be a good one. She thought to herself, making sure Fred wasn't any around to hear it and mess up her, mess her day up. Well, if she's like in her common room, he's probably not around. I I hope. Yeah. <clears throat> she opened her curtains and came face to face with an owl. Oh my God! She sc- she screamed, graving her heart. She took the letter and letter it was holding and gave it a snack. The owl flew off. Hermione lay on her bed and opened the letter. Miss Granger, hello. You are to report to the Quidditch pitch at five in the morning and nine in the evening every day for your flying lessons. You are permitted to wear comfortable clothes that are easy to move around in. Your lessons will start tonight if you wish to bring your own broom or use the schools. If you do not have a broom and wish to get one, the school will gladly pay for it. Be on time, Miss Granger. Madam Hooch. <laughs> yeah. P.S. You will be taught by another student. It will pick, I will pick him or her out. He or she, he slash she will have a very good experience in flying and such. Good day. Don't you mean him slash or her? <laughs> I guess, Where? I guess some people have or as a pronoun. Yeah, wake up guys, new pronoun <laughs> just for right. I completely <laughs> missed that, yeah. Him slash or. <laughs> Damn it. Hermione nodded to herself and folded the letter and placed it on her table. Shwe got dressed and looked at her clock. 8.30. Hmm. She thought. What to do today? Author's note. The whole school was has a while off from school because of the warnings about Voldemort. Some students were sent home or taken home by their parents. But they're still flying lessons. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what this a convenient like a big... plot device. <laughs> yeah, this seems like a pretty big detail to put in your author's note as opposed to like the story itself. You know you could you know author you could just uh you could just put a time skip in there. No, it, we got we gotta do it this way. We gotta know. <laughs> Exactly. It's via author's note what, what's happening right now. She decided on listening to music. She took her portable CD player and CDs, which would not work in Hogwarts, but I guess we're forgetting <laughs> about that. <laughs> the magic disrupts the electronics or whatever. She walked into the common room and sat on one of the plush couches. She put her less than Jake CD in. Oh my god, Wait, this is, is freaking my immortal. What? Wait, is that a real? Is that like a band? Wait, I don't know actually, but I'm less than Jake. I'm gonna look that up real quick, actually. Definitely not. A... I guess it's a less than Jake is an American ska punk band from Gainesville, Florida. Huh. This does feel like the predecessor to My Immortal. I like to think it's the prequel series. <laughs> I mean, kinda, not quite. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 actually better written than My Immortal. <laughs> yeah, and the characters less are slightly like, less more likely character. to be a trophic, I guess. Yeah, like if this was written in two twenty twenty, it would have looked like a trophic. Two thousand three, it's a lot less clear because this is honestly how a lot of writing was on fanfiction.net back in the day. Yeah. Every now and then, someone would stare at her. Sorry. Stare at her. I missed the line. She magicked it so it played, and she laid down and shut her eyes, will listening. 
Every now and then, someone would stare at her oddly or interrupt her music time. Lavender walked up to Hermione. Move! Hermione obviously could not hear her. Skins. Her music was blasting. <sighs> Skins. Lavender ripped off her headphones, ripped her headphones off. I said move! Hermione was lost. <laughs> Uh, no? Move, bitch! <laughs> Why should Christ. I? Just because you said so? No, I'm not going to listen to a little self-centered brat like yourself. So, sort of. Hermione, ra Lavender ran off crying to Seamus. She's got problems! <laughs> Not in proper quotation marks, but okay. Yeah, I think that oh, actually, maybe no, yes, Hermione is thinking this. Yeah, I think yeah, so. I should have I should have picked that up, yeah. Not that the author made it clear. <laughs> She's got problems. Yes, she does! <laughs> <laughs> Said Fred from behind her. What did I tell you? <clears throat> tell who? Me? Oh, yes, me. <laughs> Hermione just looked at him and put her headphones back on. A few moments later, she was interrupted by Seamus. <laughs> what is wrong with you? He yelled at Hermione. She took off her headphones. What happened? <clears throat> I said, what is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Said Hermione. She went and put her headphones back on when he started talking again. <clears throat> I meant, why did you have to be so mean to Lavender? She is upstairs crying. <laughs> so? Urk. <laughs> Urk. <laughs> was all he said before walking away. Hermione went and put her music back on, but realized the batteries died. I wonder what time it is. She thought. 144! A uh, 54! <laughs> Yelled Fred over the crowd. Thanks. No problem! That is. She went upstairs to. That is probably is really that? awkward for the crowd that Hermione thinks something and Fred answers out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else just hears Fred just screaming random <laughs> shit out all day. <laughs> just. She went upstairs to her room. She put her CD player away. She decided she was should find something to wear for later. She wasn't sure if she had any comfortable plain clothes, nor did she have a broom. She sure as hell didn't want to use the school ones either. You can't trust those things as far as you can fly them. That was probably the most clever th written thing this author's put in so far. <laughs> she decided on sneaking to Hogsmeade. She snuck into Harry's room and borrowed his cloak and the Marauder's map. SP? Question mark? Oh, I don't know, what? author. You tell me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what your abbreviations mean here. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah. If oh, if we it. can figure it out, there will be a poll in the top right with SP question mark, and the <laughs> options are yes, no, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she stepped in front of the statue and muttered the password. She stepped through the through and walked down the long path and climbed the stairs. She finally reached the trapdoor that led to Hogsmeade. She slipped through unnoticed, separate words, and began to venture the village. The village. No, the village. <laughs> <laughs> she went to the new Buggleware shop. What the top topic inside. by any, by any <laughs> sense? This is a My Immortal prequel, I'm telling you. <laughs> She stepped inside and was amazed. Oh no, I just read ahead. Oh no, we are, we are actually more right than we wanted to. 
She stepped inside and was amazed at how many sets of clothing there was. The styles went from goth to prep and See? dressing to plaid. <laughs> God damn it. Other why? <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> Plain. That's Pla- it. She thought as she walked over to the section. She finally decided on a pair of black bell sweatpants. And the top was a black, red, and white elastic band. She got a plain blue shirt and a men's short-sleeved button-up shirt to wear on top. All in all, she didn't care how she look a. She thought it was awesome. She also purchased other clothes for the next lessons. (laughs) Because you need a new outfit every time. Yeah, I mean, again, my immortal, they always describe (laughs) the outfits because... That was the most important part of the story. Yeah. She paid for them and went to the Quidditch store. She was amazed. There was so many interesting things in there. She had finally made her way up to the broom part, but not before picking up a copy of Quidditch Through the Ages for later reading. She got the best broom there was. A Firebolt Double Extreme. <laughs> extreme! <laughs> you can tell, this. you know this story took place in the 90s because everything was extreme <laughs> in America. <laughs> it came fully equipped with broom care kit as well. She charged it on the school and then left the amazing store. Oh yeah, the school's going to pr- pay for that broom, sure. <laughs> She was sitting on a bench outside Zonko's. She decided to quickly enter the joke shop. She slipped inside and looked around. She exited about half an hour later with three fake wands, two acid parchments, four tongue taffies, and six skin changers. (laughs) Skin changers? What? (laughs) I'm so confused. She was happy with her purchases. I wonder what time it is. 6.28! <laughs> Shouted Fred across the crowd. Wait, is she back home now? I guess so. I guess. <laughs> or, you know, maybe Fred just has a very loud voice. Maybe Fred is stalking her. <laughs> That'd make for a much more interesting story. <laughs> Man... He's everywhere. <laughs> yes, Hermione, that I am. He shouted again. He was getting many odd looks from the people, which caused Hermione to laugh. Better get back then. Yes, you should, young lady. What do you think you're doing here at a time like this? What am I doing here at a time like this? Shouted Fred as... He, capital E, ran to catch up with Hermione. Okay, there's a little bit more. Hermione and Fred made it back to Hogwarts unseen. Hermione was now in her change her room changing into her new clothes. The first pair mentioned. She wasn't too sure was allowed to wear clothes on school school hours, but she didn't care. She looked at her watch. 7.30? Already? Better get down for dinner. She went to the Great Hall and sat next to Ginny and across from Fred, who was next to Harry and George. Harry was next to Ron, who was across from Colin. Confusing, eh? LOL. Oh, I mean, not, that, said everyone was there. not that much. <laughs> it doesn't even not come... Not really... But it doesn't even, like, it's not even really important of a detail, considering the chapter's almost over. (laughs) She finished her dinner and waited for Dumbledore's usual end-of-dinner announcements. But they never came. (gasps) So she headed up to her room. She looked at her alarm clock. 8.42. Oh, sorry, that's Uh, her. 8.42. I should get going. She said to herself, as she grabbed her broom and watch, not one, not three. (laughs) Amber. Oh my gods! 
My hands are in pain. <laughs> Hermione. Well, they should be. You just wrote a long chapter. Amber. Oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that long. So it given wasn't. maybe, I don't know, maybe you should work on your posture or get a more ergonomic uh, keyboard. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm a slow typist, but even this doesn't look that long to me. <laughs> It wasn't Draco. that long. I like how it has like an unnecessary apostrophe there. JK. I know. I have written way longer. Amber. And how come the fifth book isn't out yet? JK. I. I. Oh my oh. god. Are we really going to try reading this all together? Amber, Draco, Her- Harry, Hermione, Ron. Okay, do we want to count down? We'll do a countdown, yeah. Three, two, one. We, we thought, thought so. so. <laughs> Fred. Fuck what? How come I didn't tear it? Oh no, the potion must be wearing off. No. <laughs> Hermione. Sad ending. Ha. Now you can't go stalking me. Fred. Uh, I'm not stalking you. Just messing with you. Ha 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 Okay, that was the end of chapter one. <laughs> yeah, and now the uh, always yeah. popular segment DLDR legal advice. If a police asks you if you're stalking somebody, don't reply with just messing with them. <laughs> yeah, especially not with the laugh at the end. <laughs> yeah, d- don't. Yeah, especially don't do it while sounding like Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it even scarier. <laughs> um, in the chapter one reviews, Red R- Red of Rose says it's great. Just try to check your spelling a little bit better. Otherwise, your grammar was great, your plot was excellent, and I like the mind reading thing. <laughs> I think you know people in. 2003 we were we were pretty easy to please back then yeah Mm. you want me to read jamie's review yeah go ahead hi i like your fanfic i like the way it is turning out i also like how in the beginning and the end you have you then the characters talking (laughs) ha 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 that's funny Back to the sorry, okay, as I said, I like it, but I noticed a few grammar errors. They are not drastic, but yeah, you might want to work on those. Well got to go, bye. (laughs) Ah, yeah, we were very easy to please back then. (laughs) Chapter 2, TH Lessons. Hey, peeps, I feel so unloved. I only got two reviews on the first chappy. That was so... That was a long one, too. But yeah, okay, it's still live. Even if you don't like my stories, not one, not three, and I will still write because I love to. See, that's that's what it's all about. Yeah. You just gotta love what you do. Yeah. Author's note. Sorry for some grammar errors. I will try my best not to have any in later chapters. I know my grammar isn't that bad, but would anyone like to be my beta? Only if you think I need one. Yes. Yeah. You need one. Yeah, always a good idea to have better beta readers. Yeah. I used to have one for my stories, but yeah. Yeah. Because, like, even if you're a good writer, typos still happen. Yeah. I like to think I'm a very average writer, but I make a lot of typos. I don't have a beta anymore because I updated so slowly. I think we just kind of fell out of touch. But yeah, it's one of those things that having a beta is good if you can get one. Yeah. Amber. I have two reviews. That's not good. I need more. This is review begging. (laughs) Classic. Fanfiction.net. Yeah. (laughs) Draco. What you need is to tell the readers you didn't own us and get on with the story. Does she need to Amber. say uh, tell the readers that again? Because she yeah, already she did. This, 
if she doesn't say it in this chapter, J.K. Rowling can come and copyright this chapter <laughs> and like take money from her. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what J.K. Rowling was doing back in twenty two thousand three. <laughs> Amber sighs. Okay, Draco. Good. Now go. Amber. I don't own HP people. All I own is the plot and the two reviews. No, you don't. Not why? Or why, six would you, why would you own the reviews? <laughs> she doesn't own the reviews. I mean, technically, those people who put them up could take them down anytime they wanted. Yeah. So, she doesn't own the reviews. Draco. Don't be sad. I would review if I could. Puts arm around Amber. Amber. Really? No, get off me. Amber. Where is Theo, their people? Yeah, where is Theo? (laughs) He was always my favorite chipmunk. (laughs) He's my favorite too. (laughs) I would would totally go, I I wish Theo was in this story. Yeah, he's I mean, in he the did. Great Hall eating. <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> Theo, Theo did, Theo did, uh, Theo did defeat Night Shadow. <laughs> I'm sorry, no one actually read that. <laughs> yeah, listeners, listeners, if you are, if anyone can find us an unironic Harry Potter chipmunks crossover, I would gladly read that. Yeah, <laughs> please go ahead. And it's got to exist. There's got to be a lot of them, actually. Harry, Hermione, Ron. Oh no, they left me here. Not one, not three. With you. No. Not like I'm, I'd mind being alone with Draco. <laughs> oh my god, this is... The nostalgia has worn thin. <laughs> <laughs> Hermione rushed to the Quidditch pit. Broom in hand. She wandered along the... F- f- failed? Field? It was beautiful. The moon reflected off the three hoops on each side. The grass was wet with dew and sparkled like the stars in the sky. <sighs> wow. Hermione thought Hermione. She decided to wait for him slash her. She leaned against the wall and waited. About five minutes later, she saw two people walking toward her. As they got close, she figured one to be Madame Hooch. Ah, good evening, Miss Granger. I see you are he. Granger? I have to teach Granger. Said the figure from behind Madame Hooch. May I? Asked Hermione, not really wanting the answer. The The answer. (laughs) Is that Malfoy, say, Malfoy saying what? I think it's Malfoy. What? Is, yeah. Oh my! Started Hooch. I see this is going to be a very long year indeed. Yeah? yeah. Yelled Malfoy and Hermione in unison. Good job on doing that without the count. That was good. <laughs> yes, year. On the paper you signed, Miss Granger. It said this was a year-long assistance. (laughs) (laughs) Ah. Should have read the small print. (laughs) Ha ha. Dash Hermione. They didn't even bother putting, like, Hermione said. Just (laughs) dash Hermione. (laughs) (laughs) What? No. Dash Draco. Well, I'll leave you two now. Best of luck. Really. But. Started Hermione. No. Oh, Granger, I love you too. Said Draco as he hugged Hermione. That's. Yeah, that's. That's totally that's character. Weird. <laughs> ah. Get off me. Have it your way, then. (laughs) 
from book slash movie one. <laughs> I have no idea what these <laughs> are referencing here. Yeah, me neither. But then again, I only read that book once, and it's the only Harry Potter book I read, so yeah. Right. I guess this next line is also Draco. Well, let's get started then. Knowing you from flying class, you were never really good at this stuff. So we have to start from the beginning. No, that's beginning. Oh, the, the, the beginning. It's <laughs> the GMAT here. My <laughs> beginning. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> is that bad? Kinda. Not one, not three. Moving on. Got your own... Got your own broom? Yeah. Never been used for. I see. Okay. Let me see it. He said. Hermione didn't feel right putting her new broom in the hands of Malfoy. But she just wanted to get this over with. She picked up her brook and handed it to Malfoy. You made up the whole book. Wow. That's some Herculean shit right there. She could have sworn she saw his eyes grow wide for a second as he saw it. Draco started to examine it. He checked the craftsmanship. No, the craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Oh, okay. That means, SP I think means spelling. Like, they, oh. they get, maybe it's not spelled right. Oh, yeah, that's probably it. Google existed in 2003. Yeah. If you can get on the fan page, <laughs> you can get on look Google. It, look it up. He yeah, was weird. finally Dawn inspecting it about ten minutes later. <laughs> he was the Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Dawn. <laughs> Like the, like the mafia you, you come here on the day of my first flying lesson. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming here on the day of my daughter's flying lesson. <laughs> Good broom, Beautiful. Granger. Now. He started as he hopped on her broom. Get on. He said while he waited. Eek? Wait, why? Well, you have no experience in broom flying, so you need to be guided. So hop on. Bat. Bat, bat. Not one, not three. What's wrong, Granger? I don't buy it. He said with a smirk. Oh, how she hated that smirk. <laughs> no, it's not that. What's wrong, then? He asked. Well, you fly booms in the air. When you fly in the air, you tend to fly far up and away from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's not a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, afraid of heights, are we, Granger? Kinda. Well, don't worry. You won't fall. If you do, I'll catch you. I promise. Hermione wasn't too sure about trusting him. He has tortured her skin's first year. <laughs> He, she looked into his eyes. She trusted him. Wait, <laughs> that was that was quick. <laughs> yeah, she made up her mind really quick. Yeah, I mean, there was a time he called me a mudblood and like tortured me and my friends. But I looked him in the eyes once, and it's all good. Something in his eyes made her trust him. Did his and eyes? Uh, did his eye? Like, did his eyes coincidentally look like? Uh, the eyes of a certain kind of snake drawn by Disney for a certain movie. You Jean know Google, where I'm yeah, getting yeah. with yeah. this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, this a is kind N. of suspect. Yeah, it very, he just, like, looked him in the eyes like, okay, I trust him now. <laughs> no, 
There was not dirt in his eyes. Okay, thank what? you for what? clarifying that. Yeah, why? Why would there? <laughs> what? I mean, if someone has dirt in their eyes, they are the most trustworthy person <laughs> you know. Okay. Okay, okay. She said as she walked up to the broom. She hopped on the back of the broom. Draco took off the ground. Hermione wobbled, scared she was going to fall, and quickly wrapped her arms around his stomach. <laughs> Draco laughed. Did Draco just laugh? Malfoy. I mean Malfoy. He laughed. Ha. Huh? I mean, he smirked <laughs> before. Yeah, Draco Malfoy has never laughed in the books. Never once. Well, okay Draco then. Draco flew higher. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Draco flew higher. He did this where the broom was straight and increasing in height and speed. They were now they were now almost above the stands. They were still flying straight up. Eek! Too high! Too high! Ah! Said Hermione. She straight. She tightened her grasp around him. He laughed yet again. <laughs> Not funny. What's wrong, Granger? Not high enough? He asked, going faster and higher. Ah! No! Malfoy, stop! Ah! She yet again gra graved around him tighter. <laughs> sort of sorta like hugging him from behind. Her head was on his back, like, you get it, right? You could have just described yes, it I that do. way! You could have to give us an author's note! <laughs> Also, like, yes, how else would she do it? Like, with one hand? Yeah, like, and with a yeah, good, large like, gap between them? Yeah, she could have just said, like, she held on tight, her head pressed against the back of his neck or yeah. whatever. We would have understood that. You don't have to, like, try to explain it in an author's note. <laughs> Draco, please. With that, she stopped. It was a short stop. Like in a car, and everyone goes flying in the direction they were once going. <laughs> I know what a short stop looks like. <laughs> they could have just fucking described. Author, you have to show, not tell. Just describe it. <laughs> yeah. When just, he did that, just write the short stop center flying forwards or something. <laughs> Again, the, again, though, to, to to be fair to the author, this is how everyone wrote back in 20, 2003. Like, everyone wrote like this. <laughs> when he did that, Hermione kind of flew into him and slipped over the edge. She was holding onto the back of the broom. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ow. Said Hermione while looking at the space between her and the ground. Oh, all of my gods. She's a polytheist, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, some people, you know, they worship multiple gods. They yeah, like nature Anubis or... and Orises. Yeah, I mean, maybe, her, maybe she's, a, she's Egyptian. I don't know. I, I'm, 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 I guess it's not the strangest thing I've heard in the story. <laughs> Draco was now pan panicing. <laughs> he didn't mean for this to to happen. He had no way of helping her. If he took even one hand of the broom, it would lose balance at the high in the sky. Then they would they both would fall to the ground. He had an I idea. How about you just how about you just fly the broom back down? Just an idea. Like, I'm not yeah, an expert in broom flying, but... Just... Like, it can't take that long, right? This is not an airplane. You're not like... <laughs> yeah, You're not like... Draco's a good flyer. Like, in canon, he's a good flyer, so... Yeah. Just get back down. It should only take a few seconds, and then she can let go, and it'll be fine. <laughs> you don't need to overcomplicate this. Uh, you know, winds and uh, turbulence and, uh, <laughs> and uh, bullshit. Uh, he had an idea. Granger! 
he called down to her. She looked up at him. What? What? She stuttered. Let go! Are you crazy? I, I would fall. Yeah, then I would fly down and catch you. <laughs> I don't trust you. She called to him. She's back and forth on this subject, I guess. Well, you're going to have to unless you want to fall. Hermione was at a tough decision. Can't you just fly down and let me jump down? Too risky. He said as he shook his head. <laughs> what do you mean? How? Why? <laughs> uh, there's a... Uh, maybe Fred's down there. Because I don't know. we need... We need this trust him scene to happen. Don't question yeah. it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like, I, I mean, I understand what the author is going for here, but you, you, you can try to write these things in, in a way that makes sense, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Size. Okay, but if you drop me or don't catch me, you're dead. No, Hermione, you're dead then. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. not how it works. She, she, she will... If you kill me, I'll kill you. That's just that kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. Okay, okay. Get ready. Okay, now go. I'm still not sure about this. You are sure there is no other way? Yes, now go. Don't make me push you off. You wouldn't. I would, and I will if you don't go already. But there has to be another way. There's gotta be another way. <clears throat> Hermione. He started while getting ready to kick her off. Ah, no, okay, okay. She said, but still stayed there. <laughs> Great stayed. way of spelling stayed. <laughs> Granger, fine, fall, I don't care. Hermione was so freaked out now, she couldn't trust him. While she was in her thoughts, her moved his broom purposely, and she fell off. Draco quickly turned around and flew straight down after her. He turned so he was under her. He did push me off, fat ass. He better catch me. <laughs> she thought as she fell faster. She saw him, now under her. Draco got ready to catch her as she fell. She was falling faster and, not one, not three, he caught her in his lap. He grabbed her with one hand so she wouldn't fall again. She looked so freaked out, he looked at her. You're lucky you caught me, or you would be dead. She said. He <laughs> laughed. Not a fake, evil laugh. A real laugh. <laughs> yeah, not your cartoon laugh. This was a hyper-realistic laugh. Pretty much, uh -huh. no, no longer the muahaha laughing. <laughs> How would I be dead? You would be the one in the hospital wing. <laughs> he laughed again. S stop laughing. <laughs> she said while she punched his arm. He has a nice laugh. So happy and peaceful. <laughs> peaceful? Full of peace, you know? <laughs> Caref ca careful, Granger. Wouldn't want to <laughs> fall again. He said as he flew down. She grabbed onto him. So she didn't fall again. Okay, thanks for telling us. Hermione's arms were around Draco's neck. He finally flew to the ground. Hermione hopped off. Then Draco... 
When Hermione's feet hit the ground, she couldn't stand upright. She fell. Draco caught her. Hermione laughed. So did he. Really, Granger, do you need me to help you with everything? I'm just not used to being on the ground. And look at that, we have been flying for an hour. Wow, that was the fastest hour ever. <laughs> she yeah. said while looking at her watch. Well, he just flew her broom the whole time and he didn't do it once. <laughs> now you know what I go through when I play those long Quidditch games. He laughed. Oh yeah, speaking of Quidditch, I was going to ask my instructor before I knew it was you to help me learn about Quidditch. Maybe even play it. Not sure I want to know. I can't trust you in flying lessons. How could I trust you with Quidditch? Sure. What? I said, sure, I don't mind, even if it is to help someone who doesn't even know what a bludger is. A what? She asked. Well, she should know what a bludger is. She's been going to the school for a few years. <laughs> like, a bludger literally broke Harry's arm in the second book. She should know what it is. Yeah. Never Whatever. mind. Right, then. I will help you on Quidditch after you got the flying part down. Okay. I thought she you didn't want she... him to help you because you couldn't trust him or something. Yeah, but uh, she doesn't know. 30 seconds I mean, passed, she... she trusts him again. <laughs> I was a different it's those person. Eyes, man. It's those eyes. <laughs> yeah. She looks in those eyes and she just, she can't not trust him. <laughs> She said, and she picked up her broom. See you tomorrow, then. Bright and early. He said. Bye. Later. She said as she walked to the castle-like school. In case you it's forgot what Hogwarts -like. looked, looked like. I guess, yeah. <laughs> castle like They, they all... I love you, author. I do. When she came to the portrait, she was asleep. Hermione tapped on the canvas. The canvas. Oh. Hello? Oh, sorry, dear. What are you doing out so late? It is 1036, miss. The others have been back for hours. Yeah, sorry, chocolate truffle. She said as the portrait swung open. Hermione stepped inside. She looked about the common room. She saw Harry, Ron, Fred, George, and Ginny sitting on the couches around the fire. Hermione reminded herself not to think as she walked to the stairs. She reached the bottom of the stairs. Hey, Hermione! Shouted Ron. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> Come here. Fine. She said as she walked over to them. What do you want? Where were you, Hermione? Asked Ginny. She tried to think of something to say. Should she tell them she signed up for Fliegen lessons? <laughs> I guess, but don't them them bout him. <laughs> them them them. The, the author just got burned out by this point. Besides, it must look weird for her to have a broom in her hand and sh say she was at the library. Flying. She said while holding up the broom. She saw their eyes gl grow slightly wide as they seen it. She laughed inside and turned to leave. But Hermione, you can't fly. Said Harry. Are you sure about that? She asked the went to her dorm for sleep. I would think she was, she was gonna getting... say, that's why I'm taking lessons, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
I mean, she did, technically she didn't fly today either. Draco did all the flying. Yeah. So he's, when she was in the air, she, so, so she was flying. She was not just not actively flying. Yeah, I guess she wasn't piloting yeah. the room or whatever. She was getting into her bed. Okay, so I can't fly, but I mm, almost there. She told herself as she fell asleep. Amber, there you have it. Chapter two. Draco. Nice chapter. Hermione. No, not nice chapter. Did you see how close she made us? That's just wrong. It's not like I like you, Baka. (laughs) Draco. I don't mind. Leans closer to Hermione. Hermione. Pushes him away. But I do. Amber. Okay, then. Sorry, Hermione. I'll try to not to... I'll try not to next chapter. Remember, I said try. Hee <laughs> hee. Later. Please review. I love you all. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, don't actually review people. Leave this. Leave the author alone. It's been a long time, but yeah, this person's probably um, like married for decades now or something. <laughs> probably. Yeah. The author's probably my age, so she's probably. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe similar position. <laughs> Yeah, so, I love that in the reviews, the guest Ariel said, I wouldn't mind correcting for you. If you don't already have someone, email me. And there's no email address because I think they get deleted <laughs> by fanfiction.net. <laughs> yeah, very possibly. You know, you could also, the person could also have like a link to their profile and they could message each other. But yeah, they just. Yeah, they are yeah. a guest. <laughs> what a tease. Also. Kitty Cat 53 says, Hey, good story so far. And I love Less Than Jake. I saw them in a concert. It kicked us. Well, keep up the good work. Yeah. I so, mean, I, I don't know them. Uh, maybe they do. Yeah, I don't know either. I never really, I don't think I've ever heard of them until now. Chapter 3 It's all mud and fun. Hey, all my readers and reviewers. I'm sorry it took. A while for me to update on this story. I was working on writing new ones and updating old ones. Sorry! Amber. Hey, ya people! I'm back! Did you miss me? Hermione. No. No? Harry. (laughs) Not really. Ron. Uh, What was the question? Draco. I did. Amber. Liar! Draco. No, really, I did. Move chair closer to Amber's. Amber. Right then. JK. I own HP, not Amber. She is just a poser. Again. This is my immortal prequel. Yeah, my immortal. (laughs) You poser prep. Amber. Amber, more Amber. like Am, uh, more like Amber Levine, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. Am not. I just wish I was rich, like you. I or wish I was alone. racist, like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn it! Yeah. Yeah, just so you know, everyone, just because we read Harry Potter stories, we do not advocate for any of the bullshit that. J.K. Rowling talks about. Yeah, obviously. Like, in regards to trans people. It is not cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I read a tweet recently. Uh, it was a German tweet that was like speculating that if uh, J.K. Rowling dies, she would probably donate her estate to the Hitler Foundation or something. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's weird. Like, she did, like, I remember, I think, recently, like, Vladimir Putin treated, tweeted support for her, and she called him out. Like, she d- wasn't cool with, like, him acknowledging her in a positive way, because it's Vladimir Putin. But, ah, man. J.K. Rowling kind of sucks as a person. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's too bad. Also, don't forget about the weird uh, lore. And, like, the <laughs> the foreign schools. The not British yeah. schools. I don't care about that as much. Like, I'm okay with um, 
Well, you mean like the I guess it's it's kind of bad, but it's not as bad as the outward, the outward uh, transphobia, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And like the shitting in the floor thing. I mean, that's that's just kind of dumb. That was not malicious at least. Would have put in her story. (laughs) (laughs) Hermione heard a loud beep, beep, beep. She tried to make the sound stop by placing her pillow on her head. Didn't work. She tried blocking it out when Par- Parvati yelled at Hermione. What if you can take this? Hermione, turn that darn alarm clock off. <laughs> she yelled. Alarm clock? Oh, yeah. Uh, that reminds me... Le- uh couple of weeks ago at 1am the fire, uh, the smoke alarm in my bedroom got off and I was so fucking confused I thought it was my alarm but <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, when no. it, and if just when it stopped it I realized it was the smoke alarm it had a fa- <laughs> false alarm but now I know if it goes off while I'm sleeping I'm doomed <laughs> I will oh, not no. realize uh, <laughs> please get a better alarm we don't want you to die. We don't want you to perish in a fire. Yeah. She thought as she jumped out of bed, looked at the clock. 4.20. Blaze it. Uh, I mean, still got time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was even a th- like a thing back then. Was it? I don't know. She thought as she got up, took a quick shower and got dressed. Like, shower before you go, like, work out on the Quidditch pitch, okay. (laughs) She went to leave her dorm when she realized she forgot her broom. She ran to her bedside, grabbed it, and dashed out into the common room. She quieted her steps and slowed down her pace, not wanting to wake up any of her house- wake any of her housemates up. She was now halfway to the Quidditch pitch. She pulled her hoodie closer around her. It was freezing out. She slowed down- figuring that if she ran or walked fast, that she would be colder. Okay, question. Okay. If the whole, like, if this is literally the only uh, type of lesson that's currently going on, like, why does do these lessons need to be at such odd times? Yeah, or even twice a day at, like, inconvenient hours. Just put it, like, once a day. You yeah. Know? Put it at, like... If they said, okay, once a day, six to eight o'clock, at least then we'd be like, okay, or something. I don't know. I Apparently yeah. apparently a lot of the students went home because of Voldemort, so... I yeah, there's like think, no... I think the author forgot that lessons are suspended. <laughs> was, was it Maybe. Like, that in the first chapter she said lessons are suspended, and in the second chapter it was these odd times? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure anymore. The author, I, I, I'm too, I'm too outpaced by this author's lore. <laughs> so where am I looking at right now? Okay, she was st- staring at the ground while she walked. She didn't notice that a group of people were walking her way. The Gryffindor Quidditch team. Oh no! She was. Hu- oh no! Her housemates <laughs> are coming. Also. She was humming and clapping her hand against her broom. The next thing she knew, she ran into someone. So she was got up early and she didn't notice that the Quidditch team from her house in the same common room got up early as well? I, I guess <laughs> not. Uh, uh. I guess everyone wants to get that like 5 o'clock Quidditch time in, you know? Uh. Eek! She yelled as she fell backwards. She landed on the floor with a thump. The crowd of Quidditch players gathered around her, laughing. Apparently, she had landed in a large puddle of mud. Not the band, just an actual mud puddle. This is this is getting really weird, going between all these points of views, but it doesn't make any sense. Like it says, Draco point of view. I guess if you want to read that, Draco, you can. Well, but it's third person, so... That doesn't make yeah. any sense. Draco was walking to... Yeah, Dracopov. 
Draco was walking to the Quidditch pitch when he... She spelled... No, she didn't spell right. When she heard a rather loud, loud laughing. She looked up and saw a circle of Gryffindors. They were laughing and pointing at someone... Something. Or someone. Having some laughing contest, Potter? So witty. He called over <laughs> to Harry, who was laughing. Harry POV. Harry heard his name and turned to see Draco walking over to them. What do you want, Malfoy? He called back. Hermione POV. Malfoy? Thought Hermione. Oh no. He will just join in laughing as well. <laughs> Wait, Harry and Ron are laughing with a tea? I don't believe it. She thought as she attempted to stand up. She just slipped in the mud. Nad slammed back down. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Her nad's gonna slam. <laughs> no, her poor <laughs> nad. This only caused more laughing from the group. Normal Pop. Oh yeah, normal. Normal Seville. Ah, finally, finally, the chipmunk f- crossover. <laughs> like a very slight crossover with normal Seville and Theod- Theodore being around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Draco walked closer to Harry. I'm here to fly. What do you think? He said, holding up his broom. Oh, well, we were just leaving. Then why aren't you gone already? Said Draco. He loped in the middle of the circle. Here, (laughs) my knee was covered in mud, laying there. She looked so embarrassed. Well, uh, her knee fell in this puddle. It was hilarious. Man, I don't find it funny, said Draco, walking over to Hermione and helping her up. Thanks, she muttered to Draco. Well, you didn't see it firsthand. Yeah, trust me, bro, the way just (laughs) the way she fell was so hysterical. Yeah. I mean, they really just, like, apparently everyone in Gryffindor is a fucking asshole now. Yeah. <laughs> True, but I'm also not one of her friends. Nonetheless, best fr- best friends. So I don't see why you're laughing, Potter. You didn't even bother helping her up. I am disgusted in you, Potter. Well, I always was, <laughs> but that's besides the point. Said Draco. You should walk through the group. <laughs> so you see, Potter, you should never make fun of someone falling down, regardless of their age and gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but appara- again, apparently, making fun of somebody for their blood status—that's that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Draco is disgusted by the weirdest shit. <laughs> he walked through the group and helped Hermione to a bench. You okay? He asked, setting her down. Uh, yeah. I think I may have broken my ankle, though. <laughs> oh. That's not okay. Yeah. In the in the wizarding world, it's pretty easy to fix, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. And my arm kind of hurts. Ever when wet, I'm fine. Not when not tree. Why did you defend me? I didn't defend you, Granger. I was just pointing out the obvious, that they didn't help you and you are like best friends. Oh, I still can't believe they didn't help me. Not one or three. Well, I should be going now. I think I need some rest. She said as she got up and started walking. She put pressure on her ankle and fell. Draco caught her. No, I think I'll take you to the infirmary. Nah, I'm fine. Really. Yeah, just walk off that broken ankle. (laughs) No, you're not. Just come with me, Granger. Fine. Whatever. 
she said. He, once again, helped her up. He put his arm around her waist to hold her up. He walked at a normal pace to the infirmary, but seeing that she couldn't keep up, he slowed down. They arrived in the hospital wing about ten minutes later. Oh my! <laughs> Shouted Madame Pomp Frey as she saw Hermione. She looked like a mess. She was covered head to toe in mud and had bruises on her body. She was limping and holding her arm. Quick, Mr. Malfoy, set her down on a bed! She said as she walked into her office. Draco did as told. He picked her up like she was a feather and carefully placed her on a nearby bed. She sat up. No, no, no. Don't sit up, dear. You need to rest. You need to rest. Here, drink this. Um, not one, not three. Are you all right, Madame Pomfrey? I mean, it's not like I'm going to die or anything. I just had a minor accident. Oh, right then. Still, drink this. She said as she shoved some purple colored liquid down her throat. Purple drink? Purple drink? <laughs> yeah, good old grape soda. Draco couldn't help but laugh at this scene. It's not funny. Uh, yeah, it is. It's like the drink behind the slaughter. <laughs> okay, so it's a little funny. It doesn't mean that you have to wrap it in. Okay, then. Hermione yawned. Apparently, Madame Pomfrey gave her a dreamless sleep potion, as opposed to a dreamless slep potion. <laughs> yeah. She felt tired all of a sudden. She slowly shut her eyes. Good night, Draco. <laughs> she said while drifting into a dream world. Wait, but it's a dream... It's a dreamless sleep potion. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Can't make up her mind. <laughs> Draco was sitting next to Hermione's bed when she said this. He stopped laughing when he heard his name. His first name. Uh, good night. Not one, not three, Hermione. He watched her fall asleep. He heard her breathe. He heard her breath in and out, as her chest rose and sunk. He watched as she stirred a bit to get comfortable. How could she? She was covered in mud and had no blankets. Draco quickly muttered a cleaning spell, and she was as clean as she was before the mud. He lifted up some gre a green fuzzy blanket and placed it over her. Wow, the ner the Madame Pomfrey just kind of failed on this, I guess. Yeah. He was now waiting, waiting for Pomfrey to return. Ah, oh, Mr. Malfoy, what are you still doing here? Waiting for you to tell me what is wrong with her. Oh, oops, <laughs> I'm a bit forgetful these days. <laughs> she said that she's scurried to get Hermione's records. She came back with a folder labeled... McIntyre Elizabeth Ann. Elizabeth? I guess. What? Um, Madam Pomfrey, are you sure you got Granger's records there? He asked, seeing the name that certainly wasn't Hermione's. Well, wasn't... Well, not one that free. Wasn't she petrified in second year and transformed into a feline? She asked, opening the file and scanning it. Well, yeah, but notice how it doesn't say Granger's name on it. Oh, dearie dear, that is because her real name is Elizabeth Ann McIntyre. No, <laughs> why? <laughs> What's the point? Yeah, wh wh what? Then how... Why would... Then how come she doesn't use it? Well, she doesn't know about her real name. I suppose her parents <laughs> will tell her soon enough. Oh no, is it- Wait. is it gone? 
is this is it is it gonna be her not actually being a mugger? Is that what this is leading to? Are they if they're like maybe as a way to like justify um Draco Malfoy and Hermione being in a relationship? Yeah, and <laughs> instead yeah, of because man. if it turns out she wasn't a mugger, that makes the the past racism against her okay. If yeah, there are of two course. Also- she, uh, the offer had a choice, either stop Draco being a racist or <laughs> make it so that he has no reason to be racist against Hermione. And yeah. for some reason he thought, yeah, Draco can still be a racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, the thing is, though, like, Hermione and Draco is a really popular ship on fanfiction. Um, it's one of those things where it's actually, if you're going to make that ship... It's actually more interesting if she's still a uh, muggle-born, because then actually it forces that dynamic to come into play, that, like, accepting her that she's not a pure-blood witch or anything. And him yeah, and yeah, that, face face that gives precious. it some conflict. Why would you take that away? What would even be the appeal of the ship, then? Yeah, I just... I mean, it, in it, general, nice I don't, name. I don't understand... When people ship characters and then they have to write fan fictions where they're like basically the opposite from what their canon personalities are. Like if you have to change like the whole dynamic, if you have to change like defining characteristics about them in order to make your shipping work, maybe it's just not that good of a ship- shipping to begin with. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Also, it's weird that she told she told Draco that oh, that's her real name, but she doesn't know it. But I'm allowed to tell you that, even though it's her private medical information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell her what soon enough? That she is a pure blood, of course. Uh, see. Oh, called it. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> I swear I didn't read ahead. I just saw the I red flags. <laughs> yeah. So I guess. Yeah, Drago doesn't have to change. Yeah. He can love her for who she actually is, which is no different than she was Phew. before. <laughs> she said, eyeing him suspiciously. Right then, let's see. Her left arm is sprained and her left ankle is broken. She has minor scratches and bruises. That seems to be all. Oh, all right then. Well, I should be off. He walked out of the infirmary, looking at Hermione as he left. He walked into the great hall for breakfast. He sat at a Slytherin table and helped himself to a grand meal. Grand Grand meal! (laughs) Harry's pov. Harry saw him walk in and sit at his house table, which was Slytherin. Of course. Yeah, thanks for telling me twice. Over to him. <laughs> yeah, thanks, author. What did you do with Hermione? Elizabeth. Draco thought. I didn't do anything with Granger. Then why isn't she here? Mm, try the infirmary. Why would she be there? Did you hurt her? He didn't just see her fall in the mud a million times. I guess. I guess it's, this is just a universe where race the racist guys are cool, actually, and like the good guys are actually assholes for no apparent reason. Yeah, you just have to. You got to make Harry seem like an asshole to make the ship work. I guess. Yeah. Again, what I was saying before, if you have to literally change everything about the characters to make your ship work, why are you shipping it in the first place? Yeah, I mean, it just... It it just takes out all the possible drama of maybe Draco growing as a person as opposed to, oh, she's pure blood after all, that means I can fuck her. Yeah, that would... Like, that would be... Like, that would be interesting... And, like, that would be an argument that I could see why people would ship this, because it makes for an interesting conflict. But <laughs> why ship it only to make a story where basically everyone's opposite of what they are in the actual canon? <laughs> why? Yeah, it's just, it's just not good. No, Potter, lay off. I took her there after the 
incident. And if I may have a word before you go, you and Weasel pro- probably hurt her more than I ever could. <laughs> Laughing at her like that, your own friend too. He said while buttering his t- buttering toast. He said while buttering toast. Normal POV. This is going to be a long day. Draco thought as he finished his meal and headed to his private room. Apparently he gets a private room if in Slytherin. <laughs> it's cool. Draco entered his room, the smell of green apple swishing around him as he slammed the door. He went over to his bed. He sat down. A Granger? A pure blood? Not one out of three? He thought. Amber! What do you think? I kind of messed up a bit. I didn't mean to make Hermione a pure blood, but otherwise this chapter would have been boring. What do you mean? <laughs> How? You <could've>... What? <laughs> what? The... <laughs> you could have found another way to make it interesting. Yeah, you could have come also, up with that for anything. Also, you did mean to make her a pure blood. It's like yeah, weird. yeah, and. Uh... <laughs> As we already discussed, there is an interesting dynamic if if she is uh, Muggleborn. Yeah, actually, yeah, make, you've actually made the story less interesting by making her a pure blood. For yeah, no <laughs> Hermione. I don't mind being poor blood. Draco. I mind. Wait, shouldn't it be the other way around? Yeah, shouldn't you prefer her being point. pure blood? I don't know. Hermione, Amber. So? All HP people, please review Amber's story. Yeah, that's your okay. special message from Ewell Packard. Please review Amber's story. <laughs> and yeah, the next, um. Yeah, the, the, the only review on this chapter from Jessica S. That is so cool that Hermione's a pureblood. I can't believe Harry and Ron could be so rude. That is their best friend. Harry and Ron need to play, pay for being so rude. Yeah, they need to pay. They need to get paid. And then the fourth chapter is A.N. Sorry I haven't updated in a while. I am posting this, like, in some of my other fics to inform you. I should have the next chapter written and posted soon enough. Sorry I was also reading it over Nad found many mistakes in my grammar there's one right there <laughs> please forgive me for this i seem to make typing errors when i type fast so sorry i should have the next chapter up sometime this week good day amber and this was that was written in july 15th 2003 so it's been the this week has been 19 years long man feel old yet yeah i feel so old <laughs> the, the week is almost as long as one of you are alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the rest of the stuff is just people asking for the next sto- chapter. The last cha- review was in 2011. Where's the next chapter? So, even then, that was like eight years. But, yeah. I guess the author never found that beta reader. Yeah. Um... I think the best part was probably, I think in the chapter two, the dialogue between Hermione and Draco was, some parts of it was okay. For being like the, uh, oh, we're like completely different people, but we had to work together. Yeah, it Otherwise, wasn't the I worst guess. thing, I guess. Otherwise, this reads like every 2003 story from fanfiction.net. So, is very, it's like a little time capsule. Yeah, a blast from the past. Yeah. And again, you know, don't contact the author, leave reviews, you know, leave her be. She's probably living a better life now. Yeah. And you can always check out our Discord. If you go there, and you can always, in the referral section, you can always put down, like, tell us, like, fan fictions you want us to read, if I have suggestions, you know. And remember, if you do not like, do not read. Bye. Later. Thanks for watching.